Good morning, my faithful YouTube subscribers. Today it is Monday, uh, November 23rd. Just a few days before Thanksgiving. I got a phone call early this morning from a friend of mine. The phone rang. I don't answer the phone after it's it's certain time of the morning, and I don't have this cup of coffee in my fucking hands. delicious <sighs> make great coffee phone's ringing stops ringing I go back to sleep phone rings again so I'm thinking this must be an emergency I mean it's 6 7 o'clock in the morning I answer the phone hello Walter, hey, what are you doing? I'm in bed asleep, like most people, at 6.30, 7 o'clock in the goddamn morning. Oh, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to come pick us up and take us to the airport. I'm thinking, why am I getting up out of my bed to take you to the damn airport? Well, we waiting on the Uber, and it's going to take them too long, and so we need to hurry to get there, because the other people trying to get to the airport. So I said, okay. That ain't my fucking problem. I'm not getting out of my bed to come pick you up and take you to the fucking airport. I don't give a fuck if Godzilla running wild in Atlanta and, and destroying this town and you can't, you need help getting to the airport to get the fuck away from him. I don't care. I don't know why this computer is beeping. Um, but I just turn this shit off. What is this mess? So anyway, I don't have no idea why. Why? Someone will call me. Let me again. Will call me, asking me. Let me tell you what I this damn thing. Oh, yeah, I don't know why, why they felt the need to call me to ask them to come pick them up to go to the airport. They got really cussed out this morning. I'm not taking them back to the airport. Y'all listen to me. I've been traveling for decades. I have never, ever picked up my phone and called anybody to take me to the motherfucking airport. I either got there by my martyr. Uber, now that they have Uber available, they didn't always have Uber available for y'all, those of y'all who don't remember. I remember catching a fucking dinosaur down to the airport, because I had to get there. So, get to the airport any which way you know how, but don't call some me, call me, anybody. You should, I'm thinking there are multiple ways to get to the airport. In fact, you should have been there by now. You could have called, uh, you, where, drive. We don't want to park our cars, it's too expensive. Well, you're in a rush. There have been, y'all, you know how many times I've driven my car to the airport and parked it at the airport? Thousands of times. Thousands of times. I did not go and call nobody. I got my own ass to the airport. Now, I don't know what was going on with Uber this morning and why they was having difficulties, but Uber's got 10,000 cars running around. It's Atlanta, Georgia. All these unemployed people running around here doing Uber. I'm sure they could have found some type of transportation to get there. And we're supposed to be social distancing and all this other stuff and quarantine and I ain't seen y'all. Why would I? Who? Well, I'm still, I'm still uh, boggled. My, I'm not taking no back to the airport. Nobody. Because if that was my mama going to the airport, I would have made sure she was already there. Now y'all rushing. Because you should have been there. Your flight is at a certain time, it's supposed to be an hour or two hours or three hours or whatever it is before that flight leaves. Nigga shit. Oh, Ooh, excuse me, this phone is beeping, y'all. Uh, let me see something. I don't know why this phone is beeping. Something, and I just updated this laptop. Every time I update this laptop, excuse me, every time I update it, it puts this fucking shit back on there and I can't stand it. And I don't like this thing. It's, it's, it's messages from my cell phone showing up on this laptop. And I don't know how to turn it 
off. We didn't change all the stuff anyway. Well, we might have needed notifications. I need an assistant. Marie, come fix this damn computer. Shit, I can't get this damn thing working. Anyway, so today I gotta finish unpacking the stuff in this house. I got a girl coming over here to help me unpack the shit. She, um, my nephew's baby's mama coming over here because she needs some money. So she's gonna come over here and drive me up a wall while she's cleaning up and, and, and unpacking these boxes and getting everything cleaned up over here. Just use it. But it's, I, I gotta get, uh, let me sip some more coffee so I can get back in the bed and move. That, that early morning wake up call kind of pissed me off. I hate selfish people. I can imagine calling somebody at 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning to tell them that um, I need to ride to the airport. I've never called nobody to ask to, <clears throat> to, to take me to the damn airport. Ever, 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 ever. Ever either drove myself or I caught a shuttle or I have my ass on Marta. Marta go take just a straight shot to the damn airport. I don't get people. Some people just trifling. You know, they always want somebody to help them. I, you know, this is not the first time I've had somebody say, call me and ask about taking me to the airport. But it, 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 it ain't the first time I cussed that motherfucker and the other lady that line out about calling me, take them to the motherfucking airport. I am not a, a taxi driver. Figure it out how you leave the airport. That, that to me, I don't care about you going to a damn airport. I remember years ago, I was renovating the houses. And I had a house in Midtown we were renovating. And I had a friend call me and said, can I park my car behind that house cause, and, 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 and go to the airport? I said, I don't care. We don't live here. And then he gets over there. He's running late. He's like, can you run me down to the airport? And I'm thinking, you said you're going to park this car behind this house and walk up to this train station and haul your ass on out to the airport. My suggestion is you get to walk up this damn, um, the, them two blocks of that damn murder station on 10th Street and get your ass on to the airport. Or oh, he was hot. I was not. But I, I'm busy. You know, I'm working on raggedy ass termite infested houses dealing with all these niggas and Mexicans and crazy white folks. And you want me to stop what I'm doing to take you to the airport? Fuck you, nigga. We ain't talked since that time either. Sure didn't, because me getting back he, um, and got in his car. I remember seeing him slugging that luggage across the, the, the back yard of the house. He didn't even speak to me through his luggage and back and drove off when he got back in town. <laughs> Niggas. But anyway, I have got to go to the grocery store and start preparing my happy Thanksgiving meal because um, I have not went grocery shopping for any of the good vittles. So hopefully, I will. Um, as soon as, as soon as she gets over here and starts work, I'm going to leave her here in the house to clean up. I got a bunch, bunch of stuff I need to do over here. I need to, um... And this year I kind of screwed up because I forgot to order some cakes. It didn't mean any girl any damn way. Mom might get a slice of cake. Normally I order a, um, a piece of cake, of that white chocolate cake or white chocolate or German chocolate or coconut cake from piece of cake. They, they, I call it a day. We that I don't know. So I said, Lord, and I asked early, you know, I'm going to make a cake or something. So Earl said he wants to do pumpkin pie. I'm thinking, pumpkin pie? When did you start liking this pumpkin pie mess? I mean, he's all of a sudden everything pumpkin is can pumpkin. I don't eat, but I don't eat that shit. I'm not into pumpkin pie. Sweet potato pie would be nice, but pumpkin? Mm -mm, I don't want that. I want either coconut cake or a German chocolate cake or a white chocolate cake. Or a strawberry cake. Because the pizza cake has this delicious strawberry cake. So I'm now waiting to hear back from Cakes by Keon. Let me show you the cake. But I may not be able to get this any now. My size is just me and her own, so it don't matter. What's this? I see he posts and posts. Shit. I need a cake anyway. This cake right here, that strawberry butter. I want to get the strawberry one. 
I had it a few weeks ago, but if I don't get that strawberry cake, that one right there is a strawberry and banana pudding. But if I can get one of those, it'd be nice. I'm, I'm, I've been texting him to see if I can order a cake. Uh, I guess I'm going to be getting one. I'm sending a message. Is it too late to order the cake? I'll jump up and go grab it real quick. But other than the, 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 the dessert cake today, I hope y'all have a good Thanksgiving here. Now, forget, don't forget now. This, oh, back to this food, hopping on this plane to the airport. Now, you're running up, you're running y'all jumping up, hopping on the plane, going to the airport to go down there for Thanksgiving. And we're going up to Michigan for Thanksgiving. Did y'all, are people not listening to these people telling everybody to social distance and quarantine and don't visit people for Thanksgiving? We're going, anyway. I could have reached the phone and slapped that bitch this morning. Person even woke me up. Then you violating the rules after they told us as to sit down for Thanksgiving. You jump on a plane, flying off someplace. You're supposed to be staying here in Atlanta. I guess some people just, 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 on another thing. Somebody sent me a message saying, why do, why, oh, somebody sent a message on one of my posts and said, why are you celebrating, why are black people celebrating Thanksgiving? Well, shit, we like turkey and dressing too. Why can't we have some turkey and dressing? Because we black in America, we supposed to not eat turkey and dressings? Well, shit, that's the day I like to have some turkey dressing and sweet potatoes and um, what else I like to eat on that? Collard greens and desserts and stuff. We can't eat nothing because we black in America? Because uh, <laughs> Screw you. We have a Thanksgiving. If you don't want to celebrate Thanksgiving, you don't have to. But don't criticize us because we want to sit down and have a good meal that day. I know we always have a good meal. So. But look, most of the time, y'all have to understand something when it comes to holidays, period, around the world. In America, Thanksgiving is a holiday a lot of people celebrate, whether they like it or not, because everybody off from work. Earl is a school teacher, when well, he's a school teacher at school librarian. So for, for decades now, when he, these holidays roll around, we he's off from work, we can go do stuff, travel, eat, you know, we can have fun. So why criticize, and there are thousands of people out here who are, who celebrate, uh, who have mid dinners and parties and functions during the holidays because everybody's in a joyful mood, you grouchy motherfuckers. Don't you see how joyful I am right now? It's Thanksgiving this week. Get happy. So shit, if you, but you don't want to, if you don't want to serve, if you don't have a tur turkey, I mean, I'm getting a fried turkey for, for those of you who are getting it from Copeland's, but it's too late to order my nine because I ordered that last week. Turkey from Copeland's fried turkey is delicious. So anyway, Fried turkey from Copeland's. Uh, then Earl says he's going to do a little turkey. So now we got the honey baked ham. Yeah, we having some ham. Um, maybe we doing a lot. You know, I'm doing some macaroni and cheese. Um, I'm actually going to. I ain't got no pants. I got to go. I got to go to my bed bath and get some pants. Cook this macaroni and cheese. In. I got to cook some macaroni and cheese. What's going on over here? I see my neighbors out. You see, you, know, you see your neighbors out, you'll be nosing. Like, what they do? What are you up to over there? Nosing. Be, be nosing. I'm right by the pool now so I can sit here and monitor things. What they're doing. they having drinks by the pool. That's violating the rules. But the pool is covered up anyway down. It's wintertime. I can't wait for the spring to roll around. So I'd be right here by the pool. Get my little swim truck trunks on and run out there, sit right there by the pool like everybody else with my drinks and my little plastic cups sitting there with my box and cranberry right by the pool looking. What y'all doing? And we're like, that old, that old buzz, he an old nosy motherfucker. Yeah, I'm old and I am nosy like that. That's what old folks supposed to be doing, being nosy. See what y'all young folks up to. So I'll be sitting by the pool monitoring and I'm going to be the guard, the lifeguard over here to come monitor you kids. Get out of that damn pool, you bad ass kids. Get back over there. Where your mom at? You're not supposed to be over here any damn way. He's a grouchy old man. Mm -hmm. I've earned that right to be a grouchy old man. I can't wait. So much fun about the food. But anyway, I also, I'm putting up my Christmas tree this weekend. I got to go by Pike Nursery. So I want to get a flock Christmas tree. So people are like, why do you celebrate a Christmas tree? Why do you put up a Christmas tree? You're not a Christian. No, I'm not a Christian, but I will be putting up a tree. 
Because I like to celebrate the holidays. I'm going to hang a tree, and I'm going to put some mistletoe up, and I'm going to play Christmas music, and I'm going to decorate it with Halloween, with de Christmas decorations. I don't know why people be asking grown folks, grown folks why they do what they do. Why do you care? I don't go around and ask other people, well, why do you do this? And what is this? And I don't give a fuck. I guess I got other shit to do with my damn time besides sitting around here worrying about what grown people do. If you want to put a Christmas tree up, put up. If you want to put five of them up, put them up. Shit. Your money, your time, your energy. Ain't got shit to do with me. And at one point in time, I had a house filled with Christmas trees. One in the bedroom, one in the living room, one in the dining room. I ain't doing that shit no more. That's too much work. I had to put them trees up and take them down. No, no, no. Mm. One tree. That's it. I'm going to put that tree right here in this window after I clean these damn dusty windows. <sighs> gotta clean these windows. Well, after the, my baby's mom, my nephew's baby mama come in here to clean these windows, hmm, she gonna clean them. She wants some money. She gonna clean, dust, back and everything, unpack them boxes, fold them clothes, and whatever. Hook up this washing machine down there, scrub that. She wants to do some work when she get over here. She just don't know. She wants some money. But anyway. Y'all need to get in a joyful holiday spirit. I know some of y'all just, I know it's been a rough year for everybody and people being grouchy. <sighs> My morning would have been off to a good start if that motherfucker hadn't called me and told me I was taking you to the airport. I'm like, I'm going to get up and put my clothes on and shuffle on out to my car and, and go drive over to the West End, risking my life and freedom to get shot and carjacked at 6.30 in the morning in the fucking West End to take his ass to the airport. I don't want to hear that shit. But the West End is going to gentrification. Uh, I'm not going over to the West End at 6.30 in the morning. To pick up nobody. It's too dangerous. The sun ain't even up yet. Hell no. They'll take you to the airport. Niggas get on my damn nerves. Then the nerve to the get angry after you said no. And turn over and went back to sleep. <sighs> Man, anyway, let me get up off this couch and make me some more coffee and finish this. Hopefully, this week I will have, you well, know, everything in here in order you'll see I'm looking at all these boxes and stuff so I went to the storage and I cleaned out the damn storage bin and bought all that stuff over here so it's like okay now we gotta sort through this stuff so hopefully when my brother my nephew's baby's mama show up and said man that bring that baby with her either she know those rules no children I'm at the house you leave the children with the babysitter so we shouldn't have. Mm, excuse me, coffee's kind of tearing my ass up this morning. Uh, I'm sorry, excuse me, I know that was. No. Woo! Mm, that's. I don't know what that is. I hope y'all have a good Monday. I hope anybody wake your ass up tomorrow and say, thank you to everybody. Motherfucker. Then I couldn't go back to sleep. So after he woke me up, I couldn't go back to sleep. So I ended up turning on the news and watching about the coronavirus running around here, trumping on everybody. Hmm. It's just weird to me. I feel like I'm living in a, 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 a parallel universe. I turn on the news, watching folks dying from the coronavirus all over the United States. But on the other end of my phone is a motherfucker talking about snake and taking him to the airport because they want to go home for Thanksgiving. It's not something I adding up here. People sick and dying all over the United States. You want to go get on an airplane with all these people to fly home to Michigan and head into Detroit in the middle of a coronavirus pandemic. What is going on here? And I'm sure that airport is packed. That's where he was trying to order that Uber. Everybody was trying to get to the airport. So that's what his problem was. So he just jumped his car in his little buggy and drove on over to the airport. You don't call somebody, well, you should, you should have planned it more accordingly to get there in time. Now run on down in your car, park your car at the airport, and get on that damn plane. Well, what is going on here? Is it just me following the rules? 
I'm just, it's just literally going to be me and Earl over there. That's it. Nobody else. You know, I'm just trying to understand this. I already told my mom, you can come get a plate, but she, I, I said, mom, you, I don't want, I don't want to risk you getting harmed because, you know, I stopped going to the gym last week and stuff, but I was around these movers over here yesterday, and so I don't know. They could have had the coronavirus. I was around the movers. They were here. I got this girl coming over to clean up. She could have had the coronavirus. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I'm limiting who I'm around. Make sure she wear a mask. I got mask and I got sanitation. I mean, all those movers wear masks when they were around me yesterday. We were with the mask on. Um, when we moved in here, I mean, I'm, I'm following the rules. Shit, my ass is old over here. That coronavirus might leap through this window and snatch my ass up. You young folks might can tussle with the coronavirus. My ass might be doomed. I escaped from his clutches last year. I might not get so lucky this holiday season. And so, shit. I'm paying very close attention to the rules. And I'm following them. Mass, sanitation, social distance. Not going around a whole lot of people. Now, if I can just get through these, do now, to the end of this November, December, in January, but I have to be around a bunch of people. I should be okay. I think the coronavirus might, you know, go back into his. But I really don't think coronavirus season in until maybe about February, March. That means I got to do a lot of social distancing around here, and I don't think it's going to end in. I mean, it's. They say the vaccines on the way, but I already discussed that. We already know ain't no poor niggas getting those vaccines, not right away. We might get it, but not right away. So we'll see. So I gotta follow the rules. Over here. I don't know about y'all can do whatever y'all want to do, but I have to. Uh, I gotta be careful. But anyway, I don't know why this computer's starting to act up. They, I just downloaded some new software, and y'all, it's really acting up. I don't even know. So anyway, I am about to end this video so I can finish getting me some, give me some more coffee. Look at the birds. I'm so glad I moved from that other apartment. On that other apartment, I was right by this tree and all that. Birds chirping, all that damn racket in the morning it was ridiculous. Over here, I'm a, on a, this is a two-story townhouse. I'm on the ground floor right now, looking over the pool. But ain't no trees right here for no birds. There's just some bushes out there, but it's still private. So I can't wait for the summertime. Soon the coronavirus don't get me between now and the summertime. Ooh, the way I don't know the coronavirus. That's scary. Anyway, let me get out of here. Today is um um today is Monday. November 23rd, the year 2020. I will attempt to make more videos this week. Every day, I'm a tribe. You just will see. Leading up to Thanksgiving. I hope that you all are following the rules. Mm -mm -mm. We some hard-headed motherfuckers. Americans is just, it is ridiculous. And I saw that woman on the news talking about some, mm, I'm going to see my family. I'm thinking, okay, she's going to be the main one in the going to snatch her ass out the sky on that damn airplane. And so, but there was a report, but I'm going to let y'all go. There was a report where they show on each, the, it was a flight from Dubai to somewhere, I didn't want to Dubai, long flight, and they tested everybody for coronavirus before the plane, before they loaded the plane. But by the time the plane had arrived, um, later on they discovered seven people were infected by coronavirus on that flight and they were do DNA testing they were determined it was they contracted from a passenger on that plane who tested negative for coronavirus but did have it and passed it to seven people on that flight who turned to pass it to other people so be careful yeah. be careful anyway I'm out of here enjoy the rest of your Monday Monday November 23rd Years 2020, we're still in the coronavirus pandemic. Be careful, be safe, and I'm out of here.